everyone, welcome back to Fish Pond Farm. Today I'm going to be playing the next couple of days and I'm very excited. Um, this is actually the 80th video for Fish Pond Farm, which is insane. Um, I started this last summer um, and I just kind of started it on a little whim. I was recording a, another video for my other playthrough of this, and I was like, I want to just do a playthrough where I do all fish ponds. And then I finished that recording and immediately went and recorded the first one of this. So it was kind of a crazy idea that I had and that I wanted to try, and then I did. And here we are 80 videos later. Um, it's very strange. It's very fun though. Um, I have maple syrup, which is, ah, things. No, I killed the one that I actually wanted to be there. Ah, okay. Well, I'll just leave the ones that I have there, there for now. Um, This is the third video that I'm recording today, so I've been doing recordings for about three hours now, um, because I did one Stardew Valley and then that's like 40 minutes usually, and then somewhere around 40 minutes, and then I did The Wandering Village, which is longer and this one ended up being almost two hours so um i kept it shorter than the last wandering village one i did because that one went for almost three and a half hours <laughs> and so yeah i'm getting my recordings done so that i can hopefully try to uh get these all uploaded before i move um it's already 10.30 at night right now, and I do have class tomorrow morning, but I do want to try and- Ah! These chickens. I'm tripping over them. Um, <laughs> I do want to try and get them all uploading, and then I am going to try to actually do a uh, moving vlog, which I'm not sure exactly when I'll- start filming that will be either tonight or tomorrow um it's probably gonna i'm gonna probably record over several days and then try to get that up um i'm a little bit frustrated about something that happened with the whole moving thing so i'll talk about that more in that video um and it's it's not a huge deal really but it's just kind of an inconvenience and like a bad communication kind of situation that is not on my part. Um, a lot of times I struggle with communication in situations like this as an autistic person, but this time it's actually not on me. It's on the company that I rent my current house that I'm moving out of from. Um, but I'll talk about that more in the other, um, in the other video, which will probably be out after this one. And by the time you guys see this video, I will be, um, out of this house and living in my other house. So that's part of the reason why I need to get all of these uploaded quickly is because I don't want to worry about being in between internet and stuff like that and I want to get everything uploading in the next week before I leave this house so that I will have plenty of time to clean this house without having to have my computer still here and also so that I can have um, the scheduled uploads in case something does happen with Wi-Fi and I don't have it for a little bit, so that is my current goal. Um, 
I want to just try and get as many videos. I currently have uh, the one for tomorrow is on YouTube, but it's private until tomorrow. And then I have uh, six others, seven counting this one, so. I really want these guys to finish soon, but they are being slow. Um, I think I'll save the mushrooms today because I will just put them in my fridge. I don't have any of those. Okay. I'll also save... Actually, do I have it over here? I'll save the syrup because I don't have that either, so. Um. I think I'm gonna go over to the mines because I need to start getting some more bone fragments. Um. I will grab this as well. Alright. I've got to plug one thing in. There we go. Now I can do this again. Alright, I'm gonna go back to 70 because that's where I was before and it was going well for getting bones, so. as I would like, but that's okay. And I'm here earlier than I was here the last time, so... I still don't have any snacks with me or anything, so this will be just kind of however long I have energy, but... I'm enjoying it anyway. Nothing really. start looking for the ladder. And getting stone, because I just used up most of the rest of the stone that I had on another fish pond, so. Perfect. Alright, first try I got a ladder. Um, there's no skeletons here, but will grab a rock and this. Infested floors are fine, but it's just gonna be bats, and that's not what I need right now, so I'm just gonna leave. If I had a quest for getting bat wings, I would have stayed, but that is not the quest I have right now. Um, nothing. actually fight this bat because if I don't it will just continue to bother me. Um another two. Fuck. 
fight me. <laughs> I will win. Related to this game today, I had uh, as of the day I'm recording this, I had one of my first classes. I had one yesterday, um, which was hydrology, and then today I have uh, a class for my other major, which was voiceover. And that class is so fun. Um, I'm really looking forward to it because I have done a couple of voice acting roles before, um, but. I'm very excited to get to learn stuff in this class because we're learning how to better edit and uh, record our own uh, roles and commercials and stuff like that. We're focusing a little bit more on like corporate uh, and sort of announcement or informational type recordings as well as audiobooks rather than characters in games or animated stuff, but um, I'm really excited to learn about that because I have mostly only done animated voice acting, so, um, that are like actual characters, so I'm definitely really excited about that class. I'm excited to learn how to set up a better home studio for that because I do have a place where I do um, voice acting recordings which is a little bit different than doing this recording but I don't have like really professional audio recording stuff and we're gonna learn which ones uh, are recommended and how to use them and how to use recording software and editing software, and I'm very excited to learn all of that. So, it's gonna be really nice too because I am taking a couple of pretty uh, intensive science classes for my one of my majors, so having a break to do some uh, voice acting will be really fun, especially because one of my classes that is one of my STEM classes is six hours a day on Fridays. It goes from like 10.30 to 4.20. Um, and technically that's two classes because it is the lecture portion and the lab portion, but that's still a really long time to have one class. And so... They're not on the same- I got a mystery box, that's a new thing in this. Um, yeah, they're not the same day, but, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, I only have my voice acting, or voiceover class, which is really nice, uh, because it's a really nice break from the STEM classes all of the other days. Um, it's Tuesday as of the day I'm recording this, and so tomorrow I have two classes, which is a hydrology lecture and lab, and then I'm gonna leave the mine because it's getting late, but, um, yeah, I'm very excited. I think it's gonna be really informative, and I think that all of my classes this quarter, I feel pretty good about them. Um... Last quarter, I had a couple of problems with a few classes. It wasn't anything really serious, but um, just the teaching styles of one of the classes that I was in was really, really not compatible with me, um, and especially the, the way he wrote exams was really bad for me, so... It made last quarter pretty stressful, but, um, anyway. What the heck my grandfather gave me a note? Um, 
My dear grandchild, by the time you find this note, I expect you'll have been living in the valley for quite some time. I hope things are going well. I'm honored that you're continuing the family tradition of farming and through that noble endeavor, bringing the greater life and abundance to all of Stardew Valley, a place very dear to my heart. Keep up the good work. P.S. I've hidden a very special secret for you somewhere in the valley. You might think of it as a compendium of my greatest discoveries. Someday, when you're ready for it, you'll find it. I wonder if that's a new note, because I've never seen that before. What do I do with this? Oh, a blacksmith can open it. Interesting. Okay. I will go do blacksmith things then. I'll take um, bone shards and also my geodish things and go do that. Um, because I have a lot of geodish things. <laughs> Alright. What am I selling? What am I keeping? I am selling this and this and those. Yeah, I'll just leave the cheese in my inventory for right now, and then once it's, uh, once it's the next day and I check the basement, I'll just put it back. All right. Hmm. Not as much as the other day, but I'm not going to complain about it. Alright, I'm still just holding this box all night. Alright. Nothing's ready yet, but a lot more things are silver than they used to be in here. Alright. I'm gonna deal with all of these guys first. This now says it's a watering can. That's not correct. Hang on a second. <laughs> when did that happen? There we go. Alright. There's a bunny on my porch again. I need to keep my inventory clear because I'm going to be doing G.O.D. things and I need to make sure that I can get all of them, so. Ah, get out of my way, all of you. I'm excited to get row from these guys because I don't think I've gotten any yet. like how this grass is all encroaching on this plant. Oh, the dog is cute. Alright, so many things to do. This first. It's only 
8.40 and I'm already done with all of that. That's satisfying. No. Don't eat that. No! <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna actually go deal with the greenhouse first because I'm gonna run out of inventory space at this rate. leave that spot empty until these star fruit get ripe because they're about to be empty or they're about to be ripe and then those spots will be empty too so all right tomatoes in this game count as a vegetable even though they are actually fruits and then hot peppers count as a fruit. So now what I need to know is do hot peppers turn into wine? <laughs> because they're a fruit and in this game fruits get turned into wine and vegetables get turned into juice. I might have to make hot pepper wine now, which honestly, I think I mentioned this before, but I don't like wine to begin with. Hot pepper wine sounds like the worst possible flavor of wine you could have. Um, or of any alcohol ever. <laughs> I don't want to ever try that or ever see that made seriously <laughs> in the world, the real world, but uh, <laughs> that sounds really bad. I need to go put stuff in this, but luckily I have a shipping bin right here, so... Okay, no more space in that shipping bin because it's very small. But that should give me enough space to do what I need to do. kind of a mess of everything being ripe at different times, but that's okay. I'm gonna go put stuff in here because I think some of it will stack. Yeah. Alright. It's stacked enough that I can get the things I need to get here. shipping bin so that I can put all the other things in. still, but I'll put it up in here. I'll put a few things in here, because I have these. And then I wanted to <laughs> do the fruit thing. 
<laughs> because curiosity. <laughs> um, I need to go over to Clint's quickly because it's getting a little bit late, but I have so much to do here with all of these things to take care of, so. All right, let me go hang out in here because then it will freeze time. I have. My silo must be full because I have that. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant to click on. This is what I meant to click on. And this. Anything else? No. This driftwood needs to get out of my inventory, though. Alright, time to go. I know I just said I need to keep my inventory clear, but I will give him this flower. I don't know if he likes flowers, actually. No, he doesn't. Okay, I'm sorry. Thanks. I've gotten some upgrades already. Alright, geodes. I'm curious about this. Coffee. Interesting. That's not really what I was expecting, but I'm not complaining. I'm doing the lower uh, number geodes first so that if they... That's new. <laughs> uh, so if they take up my inventory, then I'll not have to keep the inventory space for the item itself. Oh, I was going to take the bone over here. Um, well, I have other days that I can do that, so... Whoa, that's new. I'm pretty sure I already have that one. Yeah, I do. To, it's early enough that I'm going to actually go to the bus stop and grab my bone shards, then go back to the museum, put them there. And then I'm going to go to the, oh my gosh, names of places, Adventures Guild, <laughs> to put the bone sword that I have, I'm gonna sell it to them, and then I'm going to probably go to the mines for a little bit, because I need to get more bone anyway. Um, no. Donate. 
Okay, I have three things that's very exciting. Um, let's see where I want to put this one. Put it right there. Put that there, and I'll put this one. Mmm. Here. Oh, two new rewards, that's cool. Gem block and crystal chair. There we go. Okay, so I've put all of the bone there, but now I have to go gather the bone that I theoretically didn't have until now. Um, I'm going to go back to the bus stop first because I do want to get some of this out of my inventory. I'll get this too. drum block and crystal chair I'll put in here for now I'll just throw it in the middle of my bedroom sword, but I need to sell a sword. Templar's Blade has a cool name, but I don't want it. Ooh, Lava Katana actually. Let me see how that compares to mine. Lava Katana is better. I'm getting it. Impulse buys! Wait a minute. Hang on. I'm, I should sell my other one. There we go. Let me see. I keep going out and coming right back in. Let me see how. Which things that I still have left. Okay. Bats I still have, actually. Um. Death sprites, I have slimes, void spirits, bats, death spirits, I have left all of those. Um, rock crabs, too, actually. And then two of them I haven't discovered, and some of them aren't in this mine, they're in the other mine. actually go a little bit earlier than I did last time. Um, also, this is not where I want it. All right. Nice. This is the lighter blue ice caves. So, we'll see. Um... If there are skeletons here, I'm not sure if there are as many. Perfect. All right. Oh my gosh, there's just a bunch of them hanging out in the corner. 
Also, the reason why I put all of the bone shards in there today was because I wanted to make sure that even if I am getting them late, um, I will not have to get them into the museum by the time it closes. So I had enough bone shards without having to actively go collect them all, but I still do have to collect them. But um, I just had to do it that way so that in case I don't get them all found by that time, they will be able to be put in the box anyway. Well, these infested floors are helping with my monster slayer goal for bats, so that's, that's convenient. And I need coal, so that's also perfect. This way. I don't know that I'm gonna find skeletons here, so I'm gonna go to a different floor for a little bit because I'm almost, uh, it's getting late, so. Geos. Yes, bone shard. Not any bone shards there, but all right. Oh, monster slayer gloves. Whoa, prehistoric scapula. Oh, that's what I needed. Perfect. And I also finished the goals for bats, I think it was, so that's also very exciting. <laughs> Why did the bat give me a bomb? Alright. I'm gonna leave and go back home. So much sap. I'm just gonna sell some random stuff today, cause why not? And I have a lot of those things. Now I have to throw the cheese in my basement and then go to bed. bookseller. I actually have money today. <laughs> um, but I am going to leave this episode here for now. 
Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!